Hello, Bulldogs. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Adobe Audition. Now, the first project we're going to do in Adobe Audition is called DJ3. To show you a little bit about this project and how to set it up, I'm going to go to my folder, and I'm going to show you what I did here. I just opened up Audition, and in Audition, I made a folder called DJ3. In DJ3, I put three things. Uh, I made three pre-recordings, which you're going to hear later, me being a DJ. And then I put three 30 second song clips from the C drive. Remember, if you open up the C drive and you click on 30 second song clips, you can select three songs. Okay, I don't care what songs they are. You pick them, pick three songs. Remember to hold down control to pick more than one. And then you're going to go paste them into your folder. This is important. Once you have Audition open, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to import your three songs. So I'm going to go File, Import, File, and we're going to go to the DJ3 file, and we're going to import the three songs we chose. Once you have them in, you'll see that the Waveform Editor is, the, is immediately the default view that we see here. Um, I have my three audio files. Um, notice that they're all at 4,800 hertz as the sample rate. They're all in stereo. Um, and I'm currently just the waveform editor. What I want you to do is click on each one. I'll click on jump around first and listen to it. Over here, you could tell that what we need to do in the editor is make some changes on our project. There are four things I want you to change. They are highlighted. I want you to add a fade in, fade out. I want you to adjust, adjust the pitch shift. I want you to add reverb, basically an echo sound, and I want you to add a preset effect. Okay, I'm gonna do that really quickly. You add a fade by simply dragging to the right. You can fade different channels, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make it a standard fade of about four seconds each. I'm gonna put a fade at the end. Again, I'm just clicking on these boxes for that, and that applies a fade. Notice that it fades in. Next, I'm going to add reverb, but I'm just going to add it to the very beginning. So I'm going to highlight a portion of the clip. I'm going to click on the triangle on the effects rack. And down under reverb, I'm going to add what is known as full reverb. I'm just going to add about 100, 150 X out. And then I'm going to click, you'll notice that it's red. You got to click apply for it to apply. Give it just a second. Notice that it turns gray, and once it's applied, you will hear the effect. Okay, you could definitely hear some echo there. The next thing I wanted you to do is a pitch shift. So right here for this little portion right here, and you could be a little more creative than what I'm doing. I just want to show you how the effects work. I'm going to click the effect. It's called timing and pitch. Choose the pitch shifter. Now, this is the pitch that it currently has, so let's set it to default. Once we set it to default, I'm going to go ahead and drag it minus six semitones, X out, and click apply. Let's see if we can hear the change. Okay, you can definitely hear a change in the pitch, right? Okay, and then last but not least, I wanted you to add a preset effect. So right here in this little area, let's add a preset effect. A preset effect is already made for you. You just click the preset drop down button and choose one that you want. I'm gonna choose on the telephone. Click apply. Notice that it has some effects automatically added. And we should have a little radio sound. I mean, that's definitely a difference. That's pretty neat. All right. So you're going to do that and add those three effects to all the songs. For time purposes, I'm not going to show all three. But I am ready to make a multi-track mix. I'm going to click on multi-track. I'm going to call it DJ3, space my last name. I'm going to make sure I save it in my DJ3 folder. I'm going to click Select Folder. Notice that the Hertz is correct, and I have Stereo. I click OK. OK, notice that I have a new session, and all of this opened up. Once you see your new ses a session, just to show you a couple of things, by default, usually you will not see the effects selected. OK, but it does have things like you can change the volume here. Um, you can change... Uh, I believe this is the different channels that you can go back and forth on. I'm going to go ahead and click effects, though, because I want to be able to see all the different effects. Now, I do not like adding effects at this point. As you can see, we're kind of cluttered here. I would prefer to make all the effects in the waveform and then 
drag them down into a multi-track. So the way to do that, now that we've made our changes, is we're just going to add our three tracks. We're going to overlap them just a little. And notice if you can't see it, you can always adjust the slider up here. I'm going to drag this just over a little bit. Now, remember, I didn't do the last couple of tracks because just for time purposes, but our first one is edited. There's the echo. There's the pitch shift. And there's the special effect. And of course, we already have the, uh, the fade in and fade out. You could fade in and fade out right here real simply as well. I'll go ahead and do that just to knock out a requirement. Okay, and then that's pretty much the project. The only thing you're going to add after that is part two of this project, which is creating your own recordings. Now, what you guys will do is use cameras, go out to the hallway and record some intros. It is known as hitting the post. Okay, I'm going to pull my three pre-recorded ones in, kind of show you what I mean. Here's an example of one for jump around. I open it up. It opens in the wave editor. Please don't laugh. All right. So that's our pre-made little intro there. Okay. Hitting the post is what we're talking about. And what that means is you want it to perfectly blend into the song. So I'm going to take my jump around intro clip, put it right here, scooch this over a little bit, and let's see what it sounds like so far. I'm going to turn it up a little. Pretty good little fade in there. Now all we would do is kind of adjust our different levels. In fact, we would probably put the just kind of adjust things a little bit, okay? Import your next uh, slide. Okay, here's my next one. My next one was going into slow ride. Put this about right here. Let's see how that sounds. Finally, with WD Radio, our API. Oh, this is Mr. Wick. I like to play fast, but you're in for a smooth ride. As you can see, I'm not done. I'd have to kind of play with this and put the pieces together. But after you record your three um, sound files out in the hallway, you come in, um, you simply add them to your mix here and just kind of position everything where it goes. Okay, it's just kind of like a puzzle at that point. All right, I hope you guys kind of understand the project here. The idea here is really more than anything to learn how to use effects and how to use Adobe Audition. Um, if you need to listen to this tutorial again, simply rewind it as needed. That is all for me, signing off.